Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. And I want to pop in real quick because I just answered a question about social media. And I realized I've been answering a lot of questions about social media over the last couple of weeks. And these questions are coming from women. And they're about their boyfriend or husband's usage of social media. And I want to help you understand that you are not crazy for feeling like social media matters and that social media is real. It is very real and it does matter because today it is a very integral part of our lives. So we use social media to connect with friends, to connect with family, to promote business and brands like billions of dollars, billions of net worth is created today through social media. Like people have become billionaires because of their social media following. People have created social media networks and become billionaires. Like social media is very, very real. And several couples have gotten to have been formed through social media. People meet in the Facebook inbox, so much so that as Facebook is analyzing y'all's business and reading y'all's messages, they decided to create Facebook dating to get in on that side of things, to find another way to keep people hooked on Facebook. Also, Facebook bought Instagram and probably within the next three years, there will be Instagram dating because people are meeting on social media. So if your man is liking pictures of other women, for one, there's no reason to like pictures of women when a man is in a relationship. There's no reason to like a picture unless that woman is his family member. And if he likes a picture of a woman that's not his family member, it should be something that is like promoting a nonprofit organization, a back to school giveaway, you know, a homeless food drive. If he's liking pictures of her posing, her taking a picture, you know, with her booty tooted out or she's a selfie or in a bathing suit, he's sending her a message that says, hey, I see you and I hope you see me. And I'm gonna like these pictures because a DM is coming soon. And sometimes these men are liking pictures of their ex-girlfriend or ex-wife, ex-fiance. And when that is the case, it's because he messed up with her and he wants her back. He He's waiting on the opportunity to get her back. If he left her, then it means he still has love for her and he wants to keep her stuck. He doesn't want her to be able to move on. So by liking her pictures, it stops her in her tracks and she wonders why is he still watching my stories and liking my pictures? As you will see, several women ask me that in the Instagram Q&A. So that lets you know that strategy that men use, toxic grown boys use, is very effective because it makes a woman stop in her tracks and wonder, why is he watching me? Why is he liking my pictures? And what that does is it steals time and attention in her mind. So therefore, she can't really be completely open and focused on the man she's talking to. And so now when she goes to sleep, she has a dream about her ex because he's on her subconscious mind because she saw that he liked he liked her pictures or watch her story. So the way we play with the mind is very, very real. And the mind is a very powerful tool. So understand that what toxic grown boys are doing with social media is just playing mind games. And if he likes this woman pictures 
it really gets her to a place to where it'll she'll drop her guards and then he can slip into her DMs and strike up a conversation and she almost feels like they've reconnected or she knows him if it's a if it's a new woman. And so this is how a lot of men are fishing online to get Miss New Booty. And so you have to understand that this is very real and you cannot downplay it. Like, I would never in my marriage go and like another woman's selfie, booty picture, bathing suit picture, even if I know her. And if if she's not kin to me, like the man sees the picture. Like we could see pictures online on accident just by going to the discover page. So we could see a picture and look at the picture and lust after the picture and do whatever with the picture without anyone knowing other than him and God. So for a man to be able to do all of that and no one knows, for him to actually like the picture, that's a very blatant message that he's sending. And then what I'm seeing a lot is women saying the man is leaving like the two eyes or the heart or smiley face with the tongue out or what have you, the little water sign, water emoji. So understanding that he can see the picture, lust after the picture, do what he wants to himself to the picture, and nobody know but him and God, he also likes the picture, then comments on the picture, that is a very, very bold and blatant move. And what toxic grown boys will do, will do this and then try to make you feel crazy. Try to make you feel stupid. Try to make you look like you're insecure. And that's a manipulation tactic so that you question yourself. You call yourself insecure. You start beating up on yourself. You start seeking his approval, seeking his forgiveness asking to him to forgive you for being insecure and for being jealous. And you should be more mature than that. It's just social media. Listen, it's not just social media. Social media is very powerful, is very real, and you have to take it seriously. So if your man is disrespecting you by what he's doing on social media, it is no different today than him disrespecting you in real life. So if you don't want him, you know, walking up to a woman that he knows or doesn't know and squeezing her booty cheek in the mall, then he should not be liking her picture and commenting on her picture or even liking her picture. He should not be watching her stories. You wouldn't know about that, though, um, unless she told you. But that is just very real. And you got to take social media serious. And I just, you know, realized I got a question about it, a paid question through my AskTonyGaskins.com site. And then I'm like, you know what? I keep getting this same question over and over. And it's like so many women are losing sleep over their man's social media use, usage. And relationships are, you know, ending up in a breakup over social media usage. And this is the, the other thing that I'll say to you. If a man is unwilling to connect with you on social media, have you follow him on Instagram, friend him on Facebook, and him do the same, and his page be open so that you can see what he's doing with his social media, then that is not a man that you should be with. Because that means he has something to hide. If you're going into a relationship, you can't have anything to hide. So if he wants to block you from his social media, what that means is that you are not the one in his mind. And he is still looking for the one. But, the one, but you are a placeholder, a hold-me-down, a safe house, a test dummy, 
until he finds the one. And when he finds the one through his social media hunting, he will let one of y'all's petty arguments that comes up every week, he will let that be the argument that ends the relationship and he will move on with his life. And at this point, you could have had his child and you could have wasted years of your life. So listen to me, don't play with social media. It is very real, take it serious, address it, make sure the change happens immediately. And if not, pack your things and leave because all you're doing is setting yourself up for failure. If you believe the lie that social media is nothing and it means nothing and that you shouldn't be worried about what he's doing on there. Hey, this is Tony Gasson. God bless you. We'll talk soon.